Hey guys, it's Miles. Welcome back to the channel here today. So today I have three minifigures um, custom made for the Squid Game series that I just recently finished watching. Definitely a great series in my opinion and would definitely recommend watching. But anyhow, let's get into these three minifigures to show you guys where you can find the parts for each one. And yeah, let's get right on into it. So here is our first minifigure and it is the supposed to be kind of the representing of like the generic uniform that they are um, enforced to wear while participating in the Squid Games, at least until you get to the finale. Um, so yeah, I basically use the Riddler torso um, in the Loki hair. Um, so this mini, this character is actually meant to be like the jock guy, you know, that like pushes everyone around and ensures that he's going to win, um, although he obviously doesn't end up winning. Um, spoilers, but, but yeah, um... Yeah, I really like this minifigure, and it gave me a chance to use the Loki hair, which was very cool. So yeah, let's get into those minifigure parts, so that you guys can build this for yourself. So first up, as I already told you guys, I won't spend too much time on this, but obviously this is the Loki hair piece from the Marvel CMF. Um, so for about five bucks if you want to get your hands on that. The headpiece here is um, the Shang-Chi headpiece, um, which can be found in any of the Shang-Chi sets. The cheapest option is obviously going to be the Shang-Chi poly bag, which can be found at many retail stores. Here we have the Loki, or sorry, not Loki, the Riddler torso from like 2014, I believe. Um, definitely a bricklink option if you do not already own it, or eBay. Um, and then I changed the hands out from purple to the same um, skin tone color as the headpiece. And then the pants are also just the Riddler pants that go with it. So yeah, I like this minifigure. It's not my favorite custom minifigure I've ever made. Um, these Squid Game minifigures were quite challenging to make, as I really couldn't find many parts that accurately represented. So yeah, um, overall, relatively happy with this minifigure. So for this next minifigure here, we have like one of the Squid Game guards um, in the red attire. So yeah, um... I really, I think I like how this looks, um, it's just not my favorite because I really just couldn't find the right torso for this guy, and that's really my main issue, because, um, yeah, that's just really, and my main problem, and, I mean, the headpiece doesn't have, like, the shape on it because I couldn't find anything for that, but I still don't think that looks that bad, but the torso, man, just doesn't do it for me on this particular minifigure. So yeah, let's get right into the parts, um, if you are actually interested in assembling it this way. So the plain red pants, yeah, find that anywhere. Um, the torso is the Robin torso from 2012 Batman line, I want to say. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. For his accessory, I gave him a pistol, quite generic. Find that just about anywhere, I would say. Um, the headpiece is from the 2014 Ninja Turtles line, I want to say. Um, I don't really know where to find that specifically. But yeah. Um, and then the headpiece set is from the Once Upon a Brick, um, set, um, Little Red Riding Hood, so yeah, that is that. So last but not least, we have Player 456, the main character, um, in his final, um, finale of the game's attire with the suit, um, and this is definitely my favorite minifigure, um, I really do apologize, I don't know the name of him, even though he's the main character, it's because obviously all their names are, um, Korean, and I cannot, I don't speak Korean, but yeah, anyhow, let's take a look at this minifigure, so I decided to use the Ned head and hair piece from the Spider-Man Far From Home minifig pack, um, I like how it looks, I think it does the job, um, and then the torso, um, is also from that, come to think of it, and the legs, wow, so if you want to recreate this minifigure for yourself, you can, um, buy that, for 15 bucks off lego.com if it is still for sale i do believe it is which is super convenient and then this knife um is obviously supposed to represent the weapon that he got to use against sang Wu. that is literally the only um um character name i know and i don't know why but yeah um and yeah this that is that so yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching this video here today. If you enjoyed, be, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I just want to take a quick moment to thank you guys so much for getting my last video to over 500 views in a week. That is insane. I have never had that happen in my YouTube career. So thank you guys so much for that, and hopefully this video does well as well. So yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, let's get 150 subs by the end of the year. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one coming very soon. Bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.